<sighs> I killed it. It's so good. 114 again. Okay, so you can see that the, the swing is not perfect, but you're starting to get so much awareness of where the sweet spot is and awareness of where the club is in space that it just makes you like way better in a short amount of time. Hey, I'm happy you clicked the video because today we're gonna be talking about doing like a spring training for your driver. A lot of times it takes you like a few weeks or a few months and sometimes it just never happens that you go the entire season where you never quite feel comfortable with the driver. So that's what this is gonna be all about. And I found a good process through doing the, the golf schools with Dr. Kwan and watching people get better. I found a really good process of how to get a really good connection with your driver. One thing that uh, Dr. Kwan talks about at the school is this idea of prior perception. So that's like if you can close your eyes and know wherever you go, you can still touch your nose, right? And then there's an idea of remote prior perception. So once you're using a tool, you can know, like I, if I close my eyes, I can know where that club head is and I can still touch it because that effectively becomes part of your body. It's the same thing with driving or rifle shooting or anything like that. When you're using a tool, the tool really becomes part of you. Not really in such a, like an artistic sense, but like in like a literal sense to your, to your brain, the tool really is part of your body. So just marrying feeling real. And the best way I've found to do that is through this combination. You need just a few tools to do it, but once you have it, it's like the perfect way to really get yourself into a great flow with your driver and start hitting it better. And that is this swing speed radar here that I have on the ground, which we're not really gonna be using that to see like how fast we can swing, although we do that sometimes, but not for this kind of training. And then over here on the iPad, I have a, the Swing Profile app, which is an amazing app that um, you set it up and then you hit the replay feature and if I go and hit a shot on there now yep I go and hit a shot on there now I'll go okay it'll instantly replay the swing that I just did so this is the protocol the, pr the, the idea is you go between a sense of feeling where you are in space and then uh, being able to really control how fast you're moving. And that combination uh, really works into something special. The game plan is to hit shots knee high to knee high at about uh, 45 miles an hour. Then you go left arm parallel to right arm parallel to the ground at about 65 miles an hour. And then you go left arm parallel to the ground to full finish and that should be about 80 miles an hour. And then you go up and down that. We don't go then all the way to full swings because Timmy Elverton used to say this with short game all the time where there's training and then there's testing. And you gotta know whether you're in a training mode or in testing mode. So the best way to describe that is like, if you get on the scale and it says 210 pounds and then you get off of the scale and then you step right back on the scale again and it says 210, you get off. You step on again, you said 210. You're just testing and then retesting and then retesting. And that's kind of like what full swing driver shots are. They are more of a test than any kind of training. So instead, like if you're trying to lose weight, you get off the scale and then you like diet for two weeks and then you get back on it or you get off the scale and you, you know, exercise for like a month and then you get back on. You want to just like test and test and test. And also all this stuff is really training things so that then you can become a better driver of the golf ball. What I have here is, with the swing profile, while I'm trying to hit these things, I'm trying to make sure that my takeaway and my loop are being controlled by the flow of my body, which is what we've been doing with Dr. Kwan. So we go, see, if, and I know if I let the flow control it, let me do a, a practice swing here, it'll record it. Okay, if I let the flow control that, and it'll go through my hands and then come slightly under my hands. And that's what I want as far as the club head. So that's all I'm looking for. For I want to be able to go knee high to knee high with the loop like this, parallel to parallel with the loop like this, and then parallel to full with a loop like that. 
And then the game. The game is how close can you go up that ladder and get to the numbers you're trying to hit. So I'm trying to get 45 on the button here. And that was 38. Okay, missed that by six. So now I'm trying to get 65. Left arm parallel to right arm parallel. Good loop. Really good shot. And 67. So now I'm eight. Let's see the loop, how the loop was. Yeah, it was body led. Pretty good on the backswing. It was about a 8 out of 10 on the way through. The loop wasn't awesome, but it was okay. Now I'm trying to get 80, and I'm going left arm parallel to full finish. And this is the protocol. Let's see if I can do it. Really good shot, and I got 99, so way too fast. Loop was good. So, no. You want to get like a really good score would be in the single digits. So now we're going to run the protocol again where we go parallel to parallel on the shaft. Then we go parallel to parallel on the arms. Then we go parallel to full. And we try to hit our, um, try to hit the number that we're trying to hit as far as swing club hit speed. But that's not as important as the uh, the intention to do it. Let's see. Great strike. 54. Good loop. Now we're going to go parallel to parallel on the arm. So that was parallel to parallel on the club. Now parallel to parallel on the arms. Matching feel and reel here. Try to get 65. So that takes patience. So we got 74. That's pretty darn good, actually. Let's do that again. Under. Decent for a draw swing. Then we go parallel to full. So we're going to left arm parallel to full finish, 80 miles an hour. Good shot. 92 miles an hour. Okay, so now, now we have to start to, f to match feel and reel to see, okay, how much of an exaggeration do I need to feel to make sure that my loop is getting like this and not like this. So we're gonna do some, they could, it's okay if you hit it bad, but they're gonna be, we're definitely gonna be on the extreme end of it. Extreme end of body lead with the flow and the steps. And extreme of making sure that center of mass goes this way. So parallel to parallel to the club. That was good. 47. Oh, and that loop was really nice. Felt so exaggerated, but that loop was really nice. And I kept my butt back too, nice and deep. All right, now we're gonna do parallel to parallel on the arms. I enjoy watching, but I still gotta push. I could tell that was a little fast. Yeah, it was 82. A little big, a little fast. Didn't sit enough, that's okay. Because it's not about like nailing it and like getting down on yourself if you do, don't do it perfect every time. It's more about the exploration of like, okay, how much starting to match feeling real. And now I want this one to be 80. And so we go. Eighty four, good speed. Went through my hands. Yeah, that wasn't bad, just face was open. The one thing that I can see that I want to add to this is as I'm getting the loop, I, if, I, if I'm body led, then I should stay a little bit more bent over right here in transition rather than coming up this way. OK. 
Right, it was a little fast for a 101. Up at 72. Oh, that was really good as far as as far as how bent over I was there. You can see on the replay. Watch how bent over I am. And I'm keeping my depth nicer. Now I'm gonna go uh, left on parallel. Arm parallel to arm parallel. Hit it too fast. 89. That wasn't bad. And I'm gonna go left arm parallel to full. This should come off at about 80 to 85. Dead straight shot. 104. It felt left arm parallel to full. And you start to get this awareness of where the club face is and how your body's moving. That is like kind of impossible to do without, it's impossible to do without technology, obviously. People have been doing it forever, but it's just, you go so much faster. All right, so now I'm gonna run, th run through three of them where I go through my protocol, but with no fear of exaggeration. So air swings is very easy to do exaggeration. You go. So the loop is the right way, and I bend over and stay bent over. That's the exaggeration that I'm looking for. Let's see if I did it. Air swing said the loop is going very well, and I'm bent over and stayed bent over. That's exactly what I want. So now I'm going to try to do that kind of exaggeration in my three stages. So I'm going to do a practice. So it's going to be six swings a practice one and a hit, practice one and a hit, practice one and a hit, but going up through the ladder. It goes. Let's see if it caught that. It did. Swing profile is working really well right now. All right, that's that's fine. Now I'm going to do that again. See if I can do that parallel to parallel with the shaft. Now I'm going to go parallel to parallel with the arms. Really got to challenge myself to exaggerate this. Almost missed the ball, but I'm proud of myself that I did what I'm trying to do. Yeah, it got bent over, and that was good. Now I'm going to go parallel to full with a practice swing. Parallel to full. See how that practice swing looks? Parallel. That was great. Gosh, I felt so outside. Okay, let's see if I can do that. Let's see how I did. No, none of that was good. None of that was what I was trying to do. Parallel. Fool. And try to do that. So practice swing is great there. Yeah, really good. So it's got to be. Oh, so really good. Felt a little bit more bent over there. 95 on the speed. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. So you can do this forever, but then we got to get to a point where we're actually hitting golf balls. So then once you start hitting full swing shots, really the only thing in your mind should be like this: the feeling that like you are the sweet spot and you're really really trying to hit the ball in the sweet spot and now this is like golf course style now just a perfect drive a little draw left center of the fairway really good 114 speed let's see how my loop and everything was so here it's like I'm not trying to prove anything on the and what you'll notice is a lot of times it's harder to do what you're trying to do at slow speed, actually, than it is full swing. So like I was talking about testing and training, well now here's testing. This is just straight up testing. You're not, I'm not if I came out here and hit 100 balls full swing, that's just like testing and testing and testing. It's not training. But I just did like 40 minutes of training. Now I'm gonna do like three, just straight up testing. 
So all that stuff that I'm doing is more kind of background information, but front of mind is that my brain is the sweet spot. I am the sweet spot, and I'm just trying to put the ball on the sweet spot. Oh, super straight. Gosh, that was good. I can tell I was moving my body kind of crazy to get that, but that, that's the effect of building up all this spatial awareness. It's, it's like, that's why, you know, a guy like Jim Furyk is just such an expert at spatial awareness and at knowing where the sweet spot is in space. So that was 113. That's right, all right, third ball. So that's the end of my testing right here. I'm gonna try to hit it straight. Close my eyes for a little bit of a feel and get the remote pre perception of where the club face is, where the sweet spot is, excuse me. All right, I'm out there. I'm going. Oh, I killed it. It's so good. 114 again. Okay, so you can see that the, the swing is not perfect, but you're starting to get so much um, awareness of where the sweet spot is and awareness of where the club is in space that it just makes you like way better in a short amount of time. So that's like um, 45 minutes of training, but that's probably what would normally take me you know, two months of back and forth to the range to get with, with using just a little bit of technology. Now we're going to go back to a little bit of training before we finish. So there we did about 45 or 50 minutes of just straight training, no real testing, just straight training. And then we did three balls as our test. And now we're going back to training again. But in doing all that training, it gives you the, like, the swing is like, you know, it's really ingrained for you. So that's only gonna change a little bit. But what you really wanna to gain to start being like a better driver of the ball is this hyper awareness for where the sweet spot is and where you are in space. Like a guy like Jim Furyk, like, you know, moves around a lot, but he's got this genius level awareness of where the sweet spot is and where the club is at all times. And that's kind of what we're building here. So that's why I say don't go too hard on yourself that you're not hitting positions, whatever. It's more about building this awareness of where your positions are than like, totally retraining a pattern. All right, so for the final three, I'm gonna do three shots. Very exaggerated. Very exaggerated towards uh, what I'm trying to do, which is the loops going this way, and then I'm staying in my posture that way. So, okay, here it goes. So parallel to parallel, trying to hit 45. Big, correct loop, really bent over. So I gotta be really tall to start. So let's see if I exaggerated it. I don't really care if the ball, if I hit the ball good or bad. All right, so I exaggerated the first part, but I actually didn't exaggerate the second part enough. That's okay. All right, we do that now. Arm is parallel to arms parallel. Here we go. That's pretty good. Arms parallel. Yeah, it came through the hands. Stay bent over and rotated. That was nice. And now we're gonna go. And the speed on that one was a little hot at 75. It's really hard for me to contain myself. At arms parallel, arms parallel. I want to go 80. Arms parallel at a full finish. With flow. Made my back swing a little too long. Oh, I know, it was 90 miles an hour. My back swing's always a little too long for what I'm trying to do. Good. All right. Okay, I've only hit three full swing drives here. And they've all been perfect. So at the risk of my confidence, I'm going to hit one more to finish the video because I know if I was watching this video, I would want to see one more drive. All right, so now that I'm in kind of game mode here, I'm going to pick out my target. For, like all that stuff that I was working on, that becomes just kind of like background noise, like low, like low volume. But what's front of mind and what is high volume for me is the sweet spot, hitting the sweet spot. 
It's a little practice swing. Hyper awareness of where the club is in space. And then really getting externally focused, target focused out there. Kind of shape focused, bit of a draw. <clears throat> a really good drive, really, really good. Just dead straight, right hand side of the fairway. And yeah, I was relaxed. I'm not thinking about speed at all. That was 112, but to be able to do what I'm trying to do. So uh, in reviewing this swing, you can see I'm still doing all the same problems I did before, but when I did them before, my spread would be like this. Now you're still going to have the same problems, but they're a little bit better. You're like, they're like maybe 2% better, but the balls all go straight because you have this hyper awareness of the faces. So that's why this is such powerful, great spring training. And in doing this, eventually, that stuff is gonna get better and better every session you do. And then your awareness is gonna get better. So you can build your, your awareness for the club faces and to hit good shots really high, quickly. The actual reprogramming of the pattern, that, that takes more time, but uh, you're, you can still play good golf while you're getting better. You can still play good golf while you're retraining the pattern because you're building such great awareness for where the club face is and where you're moving in space. Thanks for watching everybody. If you would like to see more about this, go to bebettergolf.net slash premium and you'll see stuff on that page and uh, click the subscribe button.